Well, there's a spot here in Maryland where you can find some very cool movie memorabilia. Yes, Marty is there showing off some of the items they have, and they are glitzy glam. We love it, Marty. Well, when do you see what's coming up, Meg and Cena? Good morning, Tim, everybody in Studio A. Good morning to you. Hi, everybody. Hope you're doing well. John Clisavage of Washington Street Books and Entertainment Museum. In the United States, you know, this is a spot you would pin to come and see the real stuff from movies. What we're eventually going to show you is behind us, but K2 noticed this. John, tell them what we're looking at here. Well, this is uh, Mary J. Balazs' costume from the very beginning of the film. The with, film Respect. Yes, Respect, and with Heather Headley's costume, right? Uh, these are both designed by a very famous designer, Clint Ramos. He did all period costuming. He went back to the original references and created these beautiful dresses. The boa on this dress is designed so that the feathers stick out. Exactly. He added wire to it, and then he actually added rhinestones to it. So as she moves, you pick up the glitter and the light from it. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, you have a lot of costumes here, but we're focusing in on our return visit. K2 and I, when we talk about this off air to our, ourselves or our friends, we always bring this, don't we? Don't we? Yeah, we, yes, always, we, we always bring this well, place up. I appreciate up. that very much. Um, we're, we've been talking this morning about Jennifer Hudson's role as Aretha Franklin in Respect. Talk, there's two of these dresses. Yes. One was a stunt dress. Yeah, they created this beautiful dress for a scene where she's on stage with three background singers. Um, she actually falls off the stage, and so they created a stunt version of it. Both are created by Eric Witterling. Uh, they also are designed by Clint Ramos. This is exquisite. It's very heavy with sequins and everything else. Also, I'd like to add, we want to invite Jennifer Hudson to come by sometime when she gets a chance. If you're Jen. in Baltimore, please keep us in mind. Yeah, if you're watching. I mean, but in seeing this, the way they're displayed, one of your, uh, people can just come in and look at this stuff. Yes, this is all free. It's, uh, we have uh, 49 costumes on display. We have one at the Opera House, which is another one from the movie Respect. And this changes about every three to four months. Next exhibit. Hunger Games. We'll try to. Uh, You're bringing the Hunger Games back out. Yeah, we have. Uh, we're going to have 60 costumes out at one time. It'd be the largest exhibit we've ever done. It should be phenomenal. Outside of Hollywood, this is the place. It is the place, in my mind, anyway. <laughs> Tell them what your website is. Uh, Washington Street Books and Entertainment Museum dot com. That was great. That was K. <laughs> that was K too. <laughs> you did a good job not hitting anything. Great job. You, you did a great, great job. job. <laughs> now you know what you you you. You did a good one. Hey, listen, I can't say enough about having a grace, how much fun you could have. You could, could, could take a weekend up here, day trip it, or spend the night in any one of the number of B&Bs around town. Yes. Come into Washington Street Books and Museum. There's restaurants. There's little taverns. Great food. Yeah. You, you name it. It's everything you want. It's all walkable. It's one of the nicest towns, I think, in Maryland. Of course, I'm a little bit prejudiced on that. But so. if, you come, if you come to town, you got to come in here. Thanks so much for entertaining oh, us thank again. Thank you so much. Go I ahead really appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Great. Come visit. You are agile, my brother. That's right. Back That's to right. TV Hill.